learning and entertainment. A good morning to the great viewers right on Hamza TV today. Uh, we are right here at Makati Square as you can see people don't arrive yet. Um, today is the 18th February, the Independent Day of the Gambia. Uh, just to remind you about the history of the Gambia, 1965 was the day the Gambia was the year. The Gambia gained its independence from the British uh, under the leadership of Sadawra Kairabaja. I wouldn't want to talk about the Malkal, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Walla <laughs> Speaker, the National Assembly, 
Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I have the singular honor to announce the arrival of the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Abdullah Sanya. You are welcome, sir. Chief of Defence Staff, Gambia Armed Forces.
He did achieve the course of history for the Gambia. Today marks 57 years since the Union Jack was lowered and the Gambian flag hoisted to mark the birth of a new nation. Hence the 18th of February is set aside each year in the Gambia to be celebrated with passion and in grand style. But it gives one a great deal of joy to remember that one is her last free from the yoke of being colonized politically and economically. At independence, the Gambia was granted its inherent natural rights to sovereignty, territorial integrity, political and economic independence, hence belonging to the Club of Free Nations. Therefore, the armed forces on parade this morning stand with pride in uniform to serve a free and independent Gambia. What we witnessed thus far has been the marching in of troops by the parade RSM with the guard band leading. The parade RSM then handed it over to the parade to IC, who in turn handed it over to the parade commander. The parade commander invited the callers on parade and then the parade took the necessary dressings and alignment in, to ensure a very befitting parade. This has now set the ball rolling for the rest of the formal proceedings of the parade to continue. At this juncture, the guard band and drums will continue to keep us entertained throughout the parade proceedings. Once again, I thank you all. Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Yakuba Adrian.
to announce the arrival of Her Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of the Gambia, Padumata Barbaro, and Her Excellency, Lady Sajo Palumba. You are welcome, Your Excellencies.
Your Excellencies, the esteemed invited dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor and privilege to announce the arrival of Our Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, Dr. Ezra Chui.
Excellencies, esteemed invited dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, I have the soon honor and privilege to announce the arrival of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Mr. Adam Oboro, GMRG. Hey, 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 hey,
problem. So, what are you doing? The Excellencies, esteemed visiting dignitaries, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, as protocol requires before we venture into any program proper, we commit ourselves in the mighty hands of Allah by seeking His blessings for a history and successful event. On that note, may I respectfully invite the Imam Pratiko Panju and Haji Chetno Ali Maska to lead us in the Muslim prayer. Ya yeah, Imam.
mean you are up May I at this juncture respectfully invite the chairman of the Christian Council, Bishop Adiko, to lead us in the Christian prayers.
this nice bit of noise.
Please rise for the national anthem.
ejemplo, tu maico más tarde de ser con el desmoni,
education only, but having education in the Arabic language as well, so that they can be more fruitful citizens of the country. That's what's the school. That is just about to pass. West school, as you know, is one of the mission schools in the country.